Let's get to it. All right, YouTube, what's going on? Mesa Fail back at it with some Destiny. All right, it is a Zer's Day, and I'm going to make this a quick one. Cause, oh, someone just found a Thunderlord. Does that mean he's selling Thunderlord? Yes, it does. Um, he's located under the hangar, okay? But I'm going to make this a quick one because i got to get back to playing Rift because I am just having nonstop fun with my crew and um, really lag-free tonight, guys. Same thing with last night. All right, he's pretty much got some all-new stuff here. I don't think he's sold before. And Legacy Engrams for a year one chess piece. So, uh, Imperium Bellicose. Uh, I got this early on, and I did like it a little bit. It's interesting. It kind of gives you the angel of light that the Sunsingers have. So you got anti-grav thrusters. Aiming weapons while in the air will hold you in place for a short time. And orbs collected while your soup is full will recharge your melee. The only problem I found with these things is so many times I would use it in PvP and I'd be just a target in there and get just double <laughs> double teams really, really quickly. This one's got intellect, it's got discipline, got hands-on, so gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions. Uh, heavy lifting, gain bonus super energy, super energy slot on strong, uh, for heavy weapon kills, and you've got infusion, replenish health each time you pick up an orb. If you don't have it, I'd get it, I'd have some fun with it. It's, I mean, I always say for my Titan, I use my Take a Knot, Homeless Saint 14, and let's see what else do I use. Oh, my Armamentarium. Skyburner's, an Skyburner's Annex, I got this one a long time ago, and I've really yet to find a use for this damn thing. And the main perk is you got a chance to create orbs on heavy weapon kills, and with your super full, orbs may grant special ammo. So it's a little interesting, but I don't know. I still don't really find it very useful. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section if you guys have gotten this thing and have used it. I've got, I got it a long time ago. I have not used it since. All right. You got Intellect like, Discipline, Hands On, Gain Bonus Super Energy on Melee Kills and Minions, Heavy Lifting, uh, Heavy Weapon Kills on Minions of the Darkness. Could be some more Super Energy. Infusion, Replenish Health each time you pick up an orb. So I don't know. I'd pass on that thing. Now, the good old Alchemist Raiment. Got this also a long time ago. This one's got an intellect of 95. That's pretty damn good. Uh, chance to gain glimmer on your primary ammo pickup. So if you're glimmer short, maybe useful, but I'm, I don't know about you guys. I'm never glimmer short. Uh, I'm only at 19,000 right now because I bought a bunch of heavies right now because I just I, I was always stuck at 25,000. Uh, and with your super full orbs recharge, grenade, and melee. So that is kind of useful, actually, especially for the Warlock because uh, they have the most ridiculous range on their melee. All right, here we go. We got, uh, let's see, we got strength. We got intellect, but that intellect's really high. Uh, special ammo you can carry or heavy ammo. So that's that's pretty versatile. I do like that uh, Because it's not actually weapon specific. You can just choose uh, arc burn defense and arc armor So obviously you want to use this with your storm caller. Um, I picked this up. You know, I after reading about it I should probably use this more often. We have the old beloved Thunderlord And if you've been with me since year one, let me know in the comment section and why this weapon is kind of interesting for Shawnee uh, Accurize ballistics field choke linear compensator uh, feeding frenzy perfect balance field scout flared magwell and we got lightning rounds this weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held all right guys to be honest i i know from, well if you've been with my channel for a long time it took me forever to get this thing and then i dismantled it for a um i was doing a stream a charity stream so uh i, I finally had gotten it after like 30 40 days played and I, on a dare uh, to reach my donation goal, I dismantled uh, three of them, and then I couldn't get one ever to drop again. So anyway, um, but I don't really use this thing ever. You know, when it comes to heavies, uh, what am I using? Oh, I moved it to my other character, but the Raid Harrod, uh, I think it's Harrod Quillum's Terminus something. The Raid HMG is what I use. Uh, the Vertigo, which I have really not been liking so much. I really like my Tomorrow's Answer still for PvP. Dragon's Breath. Uh, and of course, my Harrowed Ilium's Frenzy. So, anyway, uh, if you don't have Thunder Lord, I'd pick it up. It's fun, but again, when it comes to HMGs, I'd rather use an exotic for my primary or my secondary. Not exactly my heavy, and if I am, I'm probably going to use Dragon's Breath. So, here we go. So, no Year 2 Engram this week, just a Legacy Engram. So, that will give you a Year 1 exotic, and then if there's a Year 2 version of it, you can go to the exotic blueprints and buy it. All right, so Plasma Drive. You got uh, Stealth Drive. Uh, heavy Ammo Synthesis. You got Tree of Coins, which you know me, I'm buying. And you know what? I'm going to start buying glass needles, guys, because check it out. I've actually, let me just show you real quick. I got a really nice roll on my Void Fang Vestments. Uh, I just rolled it a few times. I got a nice intellect roll of 72, 54 for discipline. But what I got was I wanted sniper rifle ammo, because in PvP, I play as a Void Walker. I like to chuck a lot of Axiom Bolts, and the Void Fang Vestments just makes them ridiculously, uh, I was about to say overpowered. Not overpowered, but very, very useful. But I have Scout Rifle, but I basically rolled it till I got sniper rifle ammo. And then when, if I combine them with these boots here, I actually get double the amount of sniper ammo I can carry with me, so very, very useful. Anyway, that's it, guys. So let me know what you guys are buying, if you're going to buy them all, and any of these in particular. I would say probably pass on this. 
This one is kind of a novelty, but it's fun. That's a really good intellect roll for uh, for us warlocks out there. And of course, let me know if you like the beloved Thunderlord. But yeah, I'm gonna buy some more glass needles. And of course, it's all I do is buy three coins and save your exotic engrams because if we do get a update when they release a bunch of those new exotics or year one exotics that are coming to year two, as well as the exotics like the Thagomizers and those other cabal themed exotics. Yes, just a bunch of those gear looks like one of you guys pointed out in the comment section. Some of those exotics that haven't been released, I'll you know I'll I'll link that video um, in the description with the exotics that are in the armory that haven't been released yet and are not year ones coming to year twos. They're straight up year twos. You put the Thagomizers on your Titan, it looks like a freaking Cabal or some sort of Centurion or whatever. Hey, all right, everyone's having a dance party over here. Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Matron. Check out my stream. Links will be in the description. That's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir. And I'm going back to Iron Banner. I love it. <laughs>